So I've been a busybody with the van. I've worked on it the last two days. First was rotating the tires, getting an oil change. Fifty bucks and some tax. I was getting a noise underneath the driver's side wheel. Uh, I was thinking that maybe it was a ball joint going out. So uh, they did a courtesy um, greasing for me, and they didn't charge me, which is wonderful. And then uh, just kind of looked over things. So I'm going to be putting at least 500 miles on this vehicle. And then I told him to put uh, 75 PSI. Depending if I'm going to take water or not, I may change my PSI. But uh, that's done. Now I'm just going to clean more of the inside of the van. Always take your water filters. You don't want to have crud in your water lines from other campgrounds. But... A lot of times I'll carry my own water. Just so I don't have to deal with hooking up. I can just run my water pump. And this, I've reviewed this before. This is Vier, real small bag. And that can pump up to, I think 110 PSI, if I remember correctly. And all I need to do is the most is 80 PSI in my camper van is recommended. Check the date on that, we're good. I always have a fire extinguisher. But uh, I did wax the van. May need another one. And then uh, I keep telling myself I'm gonna wax the uh, topper. But it's a little more involved with compound wax and all that. So I just use Zep again. But that's, that's pretty shiny. Here it is right here. I just use Zep and a mop. Right there. High traffic floor polish. And then uh, wax, just regular wax with a little bit of compound. And then this is uh, turtle wax, but it uh, basically brings back your, your new fin old finish to new finish. That works great. And I've used a little bit right here. You can see that. And then uh, waxed it with my buffer. Love this thing. Works nice. And then I also recently changed up my headlight. It was, or uh, tail light. It was pretty bad. And this is the the finished one. Yeah, I'm showing my bad side of the van. Yeah, I'm missing paint. Might have to paint this vehicle one of these days. But that was really easy to do. And then while washing and waxing, I use this ladder. The tripod ladder. Goes up to 12 feet. I'll be reviewing that in my next video. That thing's great. And it just uh, fits in the van. Speaking of van, I've got my chairs. This is my rocker. I love this thing. I got my shade curtain with me. Leveling box. I got a grill here in the back. And uh, some tools in the corner. And then right now I'm gonna wash all these. Get it ready for for the next couple weeks. I've had a few people ask what I use for a bike rack, and uh, it's a grabber. I don't think they make it anymore, well this version anyways, but uh, it fits off a 2 inch hitch right there, here's the block, safety safety pin and a bolt that goes in and that holds it nothing to it this flips over so you can lay it down 
and then be able to get into the back of your your van of course when it's laying down i can only go about this far with the door before hitting that but i got a good little story about this i went to to go buy it it was used and had to travel about an hour to get it but the guy noticed that it was busted here and uh he says, well, I can't sell it to you. I'm going to give it to you free. So I got this grabber free. And uh, I only use two. I only use two bikes. So I never use this end. But it's free. Can't beat free. So, yeah. I think it turned out pretty good as far as the shine, right? For a 18-year-old vehicle. I also added a sticker here. These are notorious for braking. Especially when you're getting your vehicle serviced. They can see that and not step on that. Again, I use that turtle wax on my bumper. Brings it back from dull to almost new. I added a little zip line to my awning. Just from looking at other blogs of road treks, these are notorious for coming out a little bit. So we don't want that coming out on the road. I may add another one. I just recently started doing it. I had never had a problem, but then I don't want to have a problem. So that's the best way to do it. And then here I'm adding, adding my anno rod. You see that right there? And then I'll fill my tank my wa hot water tank up in case I want to shower in the van but I think where we're going has pretty nice pretty nice showers so basically I just got to clean up the inside a little bit wipe my counters down and then I also plug in the fridge the night before I'm going to fill this up and I got some beer in there that's good <laughs> But I'm going to fill this up and then turn it on overnight. That way it's cold in the morning. And I got like a four and a half hour drive. So by the time I get there, it'll still be cold when I plug in. Okay, so I'm going to finish up here, get everything packed up. Next video, I'll show you uh, where I'm headed and how I pack things. And maybe it'll give you some ideas as well. Oh, and I've got uh, the new logo for Van Life shirts. So check those out in the description below on this video and you can pick yourself up one cool shirt supports the channel a little bit we'll catch y'all later bye